Thank you, Kylie. Life Remodeled is a Detroit-based nonprofit organization dedicated to transforming properties into neighborhood hubs of opportunity. It's inviting the community of on Detroit's east side to help name the building, which will soon be the next opportunity hub. To tell us more about the effort, we're joined by Brittany Haggins, the VP of Opportunity Hubs mm -hmm. with Life Remodeled, and Sandra Turner Handy, the lead of the Dimby Neighborhood Alliance. Welcome, ladies. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yeah. Okay. So, for those who don't know, tell us a bit about your organization, what you all do, and how did you all get started? So, the organization is Life Remodeled. <clears throat> And what we do is repurpose vacant school buildings into one-stop hubs of opportunity. What that means is that we lease out to the best and brightest nonprofit organizations. We charge them at cost, and we fill the building up with these organizations and allow the community to receive opportunities in youth program, health and human services, and workforce development. All right, and let's talk specifically about the new Eastside Neighborhood Hub. Uh, what is that going to bring to the area? That you want to speak on yeah, either one? It, it, it's your area. <laughs> right now, we're not sure, but it is going to bring opportunities. It's the community that has the opportunity to decide what we want in the building, what we need in the community, in order for us to have a higher quality of life. One of the things that's been mentioned is a a urgent care center because okay. the closest hospital is too far away if you have a minor emergency and you need to see a doctor we have to go all the way over to St. John's Hospital if we have a doctor we do not even have a doctor's office currently in our community where people can go so it's things like that and programming for our kids in the in the fall and programming for our seniors and and opportunities to increase literacy and cooking classes for folks with diabetes and different things. We have just this and this, this opportunity to really put some programming into a building right in our own community that we can walk to mm -hmm. that provides us with things that just increase our quality of life in the community. That's pretty incredible. And what does it mean for these areas when you take these old, often abandoned and dilapidated buildings and really make them something that really serves the area? So it means hope, right? It means strength. A lot of times um, our communities are simply underserved and they want to do things. They want to have after school programming. They want all these activities that she just spoke of. They want medical facilities and dental facilities, but there is nothing. It's kind of like a bare community where you feel forgotten. Mm. And so we want to come in the community and not just come in and tell you what you need, right? We want to come in and we want to work with the community and with our surrounding partners and make sure we're providing quality programs for the community because they deserve it. And sometimes when there are programs where people can get involved, they don't know how. Mm -hmm. So how can people vote? How can they get their voices included in this effort as well? Well, one of the great things about the Denby community, um, we have, since 2013, we have been re-energizing the voice of residents in our community, all ages, starting with our youth, to understand that they have the power to transform their community. Life Remodel came to us back in 2016 and, and really boosted the, the hope and energy of our young people by creating a park in our community where we didn't have a park. You know, and the kids designed the park, and Life Remodel came and made their dream a reality, showing the residents and, and our youth that they have a voice. They make decisions on what happens in their community. They're the voice. And Life Remodel coming back into our community now with the new hub is awesome because it's our people, our residents, that know they're at the table, they're making the decisions, and Life Remodel is supporting them. That's so beautiful. And really quickly, before I let you all go, after the vote, what happens next? After the vote, and so we, we had a community meeting, um, I think it consists of 12 or 15 yes. people. They came up with multiple names, probably about 20 names. We chose the top five, went back to the table, you all voted the top three. Um, and so now we have a website called namethatbuilding.com. 
um, as part of our community engagement efforts to make sure the community is involved on what this building in their own community will be called, right? And so go to namethatbuilding.com. We're asking people that live in the area, work in the area, do business in the area, worship in the area, and um, get educated in the area to go on a website and vote for one of those top three names. Um, and we're excited. But all the names are good. So okay. Life Remodeled is good with whatever <laughs> one is chosen. Amazing. Um, and so it's just super excited that they get to say that the building that they're coming into for program, they help name that building. Incredible mm -hmm. effort. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us. And you can learn thank more you. about the organization on CBSDetroit.com. Stay with us. We'll be back after the break.